Hello and welcome. Galileo recorded Neptune as a fixed star during observation with his telescope in 1612 and 1613. More than 200 years later, the ice giant Neptunes become the first planet located through mathematical predictions rather than through regular observations of the sky. Because Uranus did not travel exactly as astronomers expected it to, French mathematician Urban Le Verrier proposed the position and mass of an unknown planet that could cause the observed changes to Uranus's orbit. Le Verrier sent his predictions to Juan Gale at the Berlin Observatory, who found Neptune on his first night of searching in 1846. 17 days later, Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was discovered as well. More than 140 years later, in 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to study Neptune up close. Voyager returned a wealth of information about Neptune and its moon and confirmed evidence that the giant world had faint rings like the other gas planets. Scientists also used the Hubble Space Telescope and powerful ground-based telescopes to gather more information about Neptune. Here are some key events to keep in mind. In 1612, Galileo Galilei incorrectly records Neptune as a fixed star during observation with his telescope. In 1846, using mathematical calculations, astronomers discover Neptune, increasing the number of known planets to eight. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is found the same year. In 1983, Pioneer 10 crosses the orbit of Neptune and becomes the first human-made object to travel beyond the orbits of the planets of our solar system. The spacecraft remains on a trajectory heading toward the red star Aldebaran and is expected to pass by it in about 2 million years. In 1984, astronomers find evidence for the existence of a ring system around Neptune. In 1989, Voyager 2 becomes the first and only spacecraft to visit Neptune passing about 4,800 kilometers or 2,983 miles above the planet's North Pole. 2002, using improved observation techniques, astronomers discover four new moons orbiting Neptune, Laomedia, Neso, Sao, and Halimid. In 2003, another moon, Samate, is discovered using ground-based telescope. 2005, scientists take images of the outer rings and find that some of the rings arc have deteriorated. In 2011, Neptune's completes its first 165-year orbit of the sun since its discovery in 1846. In the year 2013, a scientist studying Neptune's ring arcs find a previously unknown 14 moon of Neptune. In 2016, scientists using the Hubble Space Telescope discover a new dark spot on Neptune, the first new atmospheric vortex seen in the 21st century. Here are some great NASA missions to keep in mind. First, the Hubble Space Telescope, launch date April 24, 1990. The Hubble Space Telescope was designed to provide clear and deep views of distant galaxies and stars and most of the planets in our solar system. Hubble continues to provide images of unprecedented resolution from which many new and exciting discoveries have been made. Hubble orbits about 350 miles or 560 kilometers above Earth's surface. Analysis of Hubble images helped earn scientists the Nobel Prize in 2011 for discovering that the rate of our universe is rapidly accelerating. In short, when we have questions on our planet Earth, Hubble has some of the answers. Another mission to keep in mind is Voyager 2, launch date August 20, 1977. NASA's Voyager 2 is the second spacecraft to enter interstellar space. On December 10, 2018, the spacecraft joined its twin Voyager 1 as the only human-made object to enter the space between the stars. Voyager 2 was the first human-made object to fly by Neptune. At Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered five moons, four rings, and a great dark spot. Voyager photographed two-thirds of Neptune's largest moon, Triton, revealing the coldest known planetary body in the solar system and a nitrogen ice volcano on its surface. Once past the Neptune system, Voyager 2 follow a course below the elliptic plane and out of the solar system. As of July 2019, Voyager 2 continued to return data from five instruments as it traveled through interstellar space. Eventually, there will not be enough electricity to power even one instrument. 
then Voyager 2 will silently continue its eternal journey among the stars. And to quote Albert Einstein, quote, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. One cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of this mystery every day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.